My 42F best friend 42F told my husband 44M I cheated and he's leaving. I'll go right ahead and say the obvious. I deserve this. I'm the villain. It's all my fault. I know, but my goodness, I can't handle this. I'm posting here in the hopes that someone has advice on how to win back a betrayed spouse. Back in 2001, yes, 20 years ago, I was young and dumb and did something horrible. I had been with my husband, boyfriend at the time, for five years at that point. We grew up in the same hometown, part of the same friend group as kids, and fell in love in high school. We've been together ever since. After college, however, I got it into my head that my relationship was holding me down and stifling my self expression. My best friend Julia agreed with the sentiment. Together we'd go out clubbing, leaving our boyfriends at home. We wouldn't do anything bad, but still there was a thrill to knowing that other guys were looking at us. Well, as they say, never play with fire. The more we partied, the more Julia would want to cheat. Eventually she started making out with other guys at clubs. And I'm ashamed to say that for a few nights, I did the same, dancing with guys and kissing them. I put a stop this after a few such incidents. I felt disgusted with myself, with her, with these strangers I was kissing, and most of all I felt horrible about cheating on the love of my life. I told her that I couldn't hang out with her anymore if she was going to continue her cheating ways. She understood and she put a stop to it as well. Of course all my moral indignation didn't give me the courage to actually fess up to what I did, so we kept it out secret. Skip 20 years later, I've hence married that boyfriend, and he's my husband now. We have four children, 18, 17, 14, 14. Over these 20 years, my best friend has practically faded out of the dating pool entirely. She has a successful business of her own, inherited from family, and she dedicates her life to running it. Her social life is essentially hanging out with me or my husband, and sometimes babysitting the kids. Well, it turns out that she has gotten so chummy with my husband that one night, in February of this year, she had too much to drink, and she ended up letting spill our little cheating incidents back in the day. She didn't mention that I only did it four times, kissing four different guys in total. Understandably, she doesn't remember those specifics, she just remembers that underscore she underscore cheated for almost an entire year and remembers I was doing generally the same. To make matters worse, she said this while my oldest son was upstairs, and my son heard everything. I was away for the weekend with our three other kids, visiting my parents, and my poor husband had to calm my son down while also trying to make sense of what Julia was telling him. I never knew that the night I left would be the last time the love of my life would ever kiss me. I came home the next day and my husband sat me down and asked me point blank if I ever cheated on him. I could tell from the look in his eyes that he knew everything. I admitted that I had. He was so calm that it scared me. I was afraid for his well-being. He's usually so proud and charismatic and that day he just looked serene, detached from our relationship, detached from me. He told me that he wants a DNA test on all of our children, which of course I agreed to, because they're his. He's the only man I've ever slept with. We waited for the test results for one week, and my son wanted nothing to do with me during this time. When the results came back, I thought that we could finally start on rebuilding our foundation of trust. I had all the energy in the world to put into our marriage, and to show my man that I was worth his time and his love. The day the results came back, he told me he wanted a divorce. We have been separated since March of this year. He has purchased a condo in the downtown area of our city. My oldest two kids spent 100% of their time there, while my youngest twins split their time with me and with him. He refuses to go to marital counseling. Our jurisdiction has a six-month wait before a divorce can be finalized, and that expired in October. So as if October 23rd, I'm a 42-year-old divorcee with four kids, two of whom hate me, the others see me as the reason their lives were upturned. I cut Julia out of my life. I know this wasn't her fault, I know I was the one who chose to lie and I deserve the consequences, but still I associate my life's total ruin to her. I blame her even though it doesn't make sense. And just last weekend, one of my younger kids mentioned that Julia has been sleeping over at my husband's condo. I am incensed with jealousy and hatred for her and anguish at this whole situation. I need to win him back. This isn't how our lives are supposed to end. We have worked so damn hard to build our home and he can't share it all with her, while I rot out here in the cold. Even the thought of calling him my ex makes me want to shrivel up and disappear. Dot. Too long did not read. Best friend and I cheated on our boyfriends 20 years ago. 
I married my boyfriend, and 20 years later, my best friend admitted to my husband what we did. My husband has divorced me now, after six months of separation. I've just received news that my best friend has been sleeping over at his condo. I have to win him back. I can't let this be the end of our love story. I really wouldn't say your best friend is your best friend. Seems a like bit like this was the plan and really your ex was happy to play into but really your scene is over. Seriously sus your BFF though. Your reading of this is entirely wrong. Your best friend and ex-husband have known this for 20 years and grown closer over time and eventually just wanted an excuse they had in their pocket to give reason to get you out of the picture. I'm sure 15 18 of the 20 year were fine, but nobody is breaking up a marriage over kissing a couple of guys unless there's more going on you just didn't know about. Op. I hate to tell you, but your BFF and your hubs have been aing each other for a while. 10 out of 10 they will start dating. Not much love if your partner wants to make it a deal breaker for some kissing 20 years ago. Love should should. Did you tell your husband it was just a drunken kiss or two 20 years ago that you both thought was a bad idea so you and Julia decided to never go do it again? Since then you've been a faithful mother to his kids and a partner to him. I mean, if you come out and say, I cheated for one year then accept to do paternity tests without saying anything, I would also divorce you. That sounds like you went and slept with a bunch of dudes for a year. I'm sorry but to me, it seems as though there's something going on between Julia and your husband. She was there when you were out of town, drinking and happened to let him in on a secret from 20 years ago which, in all honesty, most of us would have likely forgotten. You betrayed him at the time, yes but it sounds as though your husband wanted an easy out. The fact rat she is now staying at your husband's new place is a red flag. Seems like she's played the long con and won. I don't know how you win him back and I honestly don't know if you want to for your own sake. It seems to me that maybe your husband was in on this little, mishap, where your best friend drunkenly spilled ancient secrets within your teenaged son's earshot. To me, it seems like a perfectly executed plan. I have a suspicion this story is fiction, mainly because of how you glossed over the fact that Julia is spending the night at your ex-husband's condo. Doesn't that bring every other piece of this story into question? How do you know Julia didn't say you slept with a new guy every week for a year? If this is true I feel sorry for your children. Focus on them. Her plan all along was to steal your husband. Why was she over on there drinking with him while you were away? Super suspicious. I suspect that their affair has been going on for quite a while and they used something from 20 years ago to get the divorce without them looking like the bad guys. This what happens boys and girls. When you do stupid shit and say, oh it was a mistake, yay okay. I just saw this on another post to you let him know you're going to take a light attack to her test and so when you bring this up ask that you and that him and Julia take one too because it sounds like they were sleeping together before she even spilled the beans. Because he's leaving you over a kiss okay like when he confronted you you owned it but there's more to it. Let him know you were like all three of you you him and Julie and they take a lot of tact to test and I guarantee they've been sleeping together for a long while but it will show that you were telling him the truth now love you that's the only way that you can really fight for your marriage. You kissed a couple of randoms 20 years ago. I think there is more to this story. I know this wasn't her fault. How was it not her fault? First she talked you into it and then she ruined your life because most likely she wants to be with your husband. That's some evil shit. Your husband was so ready to put an end to your marriage that I doubt the fact that you kissed four guys 20 years ago was the only reason. And your best friend is spending the night over highly indicates that there is nothing to win back for you here. I'm not here to pass judgment or cast you in an unfair light. But anything that could be easily explainable and ISNT cheating suddenly becomes cheating. What I mean, extra long work hours, any kind of weekend work, business lunches, girls nights out, emotional and or physical distancing, just any normal thing that can happen in 20 plus years if relationship. Cheating and lying about it for 20 years casts everything into doubt. I do not believe he has left you over you playing suck face only, you must have done more. And aren't admitting it, he believes it despite you denying. It is cheating if that is truly all you did, but being drunk, it was probably more. If it truly was only kissing, that is rather minor, I can't believe he would leave you since March over kissing. The rule of thumb with cheating, is it is always much more than the cheater has minimized it down to. Even I would not dump a wife or girlfriend over just kissing. And I am notoriously picky in that way. Geez, it was just kissing right? I mean sure I'd be pissed but divorce after 20 years and kids together sounds extreme. Wait why was Julia drunk with your husband in the first place? 
Honestly it sounds like he was already cheating with her. I would just work on explaining everything to my two oldest kids because she's probably already filling their heads with lies. I am sorry this happened to you. Even thought this was 20 years ago, to your ex-husband, it was as if it were yesterday. Given the circumstances, my guess is your friend Julia is manipulating your husband in his confused and emotional state. There isn't much you can do about that except to 1. Go on with your life or 2. Wait it out for your husband to come to his senses which may be never. The best you can do at this point is to get some counseling for yourself and possibly your children. Your husband has rejected counseling at this point so I am not going to suggest it. I wish you the best in your future but perhaps counseling can help you with the present. Ah, uh, he is actively cheating on you. I would say he is hurt by this, but not if he is doing that. But it is divorce lawyer time. I would assume this is going to be messy. This is a lose-lose situation for you, your kids, and your soon-to-be ex-husband. Take care of you and your kids. Well, what can you do? I mean, we all know that, just a kiss, or whatnot is a language for damage control. All you need was do not ever cheat. Just don't cheat on your next relationship. I can't believe how shitty your former friend is, sleeping with him after what she did to you isn't something any decent person would do. Then again, she was remorselessly cheating even more than you 20 years ago. I wish I had more to offer, but I have no idea how you can win him back at this point. I usually hate people who cheat but man I feel bad for you. Your husband was cheating on you and found a way of pinning it on you. H-E-S a P-O-S. Good riddance. Unfortunately it sounds like they've started an affair and that was her way of using a smoking gun to make you the villain. Sad face, the fact that they were hanging out alone like that is kinda suspicious to begin with. I know every couple and friend group is different but, yeah, odd. I'd highly suggest therapy and forbidding her to be around the older two as it seems like she's poisoned him too. I'm really sorry you're going through this op. This sounds dumb, over 20 years ago and few kisses. Probably best to show this post to your husband and let his eyes open. Not the asshole. As others have mentioned, your ex and Julia are assholes. It's tough, but move on, you will be better. Your best friend might have pulled a sneaky on ya. And stolen your husband. You deserve it though. Win-win. Offer to take a lie detector test. What harm could it do? Also I'd be careful around that best friend of yours. Things sure seem to fall apart for you, and right into her lap for her to pick up the pieces. Coincidence? Maybe. Or maybe she's been crafting this plot to steal your life for years. Paranoid? Could be, but in a movie with a plot like this, Op would hire a pie to check into the BFF. Maybe she's had it in for you all this time. She has gotten so chummy with my husband that. MMMHMMM. That he is using your cheating as an excuse to cheat with her. Don't give either of them a pass. If it was that long ago and he has no desire to even try to work on things, he was looking for an out already. Well this post is really making me sick. How can you just blame everyone but yourself? It's like you're brushing off what you did. Yeah I'm the villain whatever whatever but look at these guys. You wanna win back a man who you lied to for over 20 years, you do not deserve him, the best part of this post is, I only did it four times, kissing four different guys I total, you think that makes it better. You're trying to clearly make yourself look like the victim of the whole thing, while I rot out here in the cold. You totally deserve it, point closed. You should be ashamed of even making a post like this. I mean I don't blame him for leaving at all I would have done the same. Dude probably feels like he wasted decades of his life on a false relationship. How can you not tell him for 20 years? You definitely deserve this. Just do him one favor and leave him be, don't make this even harder on him. Jesus Christ. Shouldn't have cheated and kept it from him for so long. The evil part here is you were dishonest with him for so many years. Just accept all those bad feelings and know he probably feels worse. Awful. Please learn from this. Worst feeling in the world building a life with someone only to find they're dishonest. You're definitely in no way the victim here. Whatever happens after your partner finds you cheated is well deserved. You cheated on our husband. You deserve what you're getting. I'm sorry to say but I don't think your marriage is fixable. You need to work on fixing your relationship with your kids, and finding a way to move forward. Get yourself into counseling, and you and your kids into family counseling. This isn't your fault. If your husband is reacting this way to a minor transgression that happened over 20 years ago, it sounds like he was looking for a way out anyway. I'm sorry, that sucks. Your BFF is just jealous of you and she planned all of this. 
Just keep apologizing again ans again but don't pressure your husband. I understand that a betrayal is a betrayal, but does he know it was just making out with guys while you were younger? Are you sure of what she told him because it sounds that she wanted him, and told him to cause problems and exaggeration or even lies? Tell him that you want to talk to him that's all you can do, and cut her out of your life. Be friends again maybe he will come to forgive you, maybe not. I don't see you as a villain, so don't see yourself that way. We're human and make mistakes. You realized it was wrong, and changed. Hopefully he sees that, but if not sometimes it takes time to accept change, but you will eventually. Boy, Julia Shaw is playing the long game, huh? It's most likely because it took 20 years for it to come out. I can nearly guarantee he feels like the whole marriage was built on a bed of lies and dishonesty. If you had have told him right away, it may have been a different story. However your dishonesty has accrued 20 years of compounding interest. OMG. This is so wrong, on significant othermony levels. What sort of friend does that she obviously wanted to break up your family and it worked talk about toxic. I'm so sorry you're going through this, yeah you shouldn't have done it but why would she say something now and not 20 years ago? I have no words. I think he was waiting for that happen or anything to end the relationship. Yes is really bad discovering something like this after many years, but I don't think is an excuse to end a long love life like that especially for some kiss with random guys. Again, it's really sucks but nothing that you can resolve with therapy or you talking through it. Maybe you should cool off and let he having his time of thinking and don't force anything. So he's okay with your best friend being a cheater but not you. I think they were fucking already. Why was she alone with him in the house while you were away with your three children? That's very very sus. And now she is spending time at your husband's house all the time. Honestly, I think your husband was cheating on you with your best friend and now found a way of divorcing you without looking like the bad guy, especially without looking like the bad guy for your children. I think this divorce is for the best, honestly. You can't. He wanted an excuse to get out, and he found one. No matter what you do, you can't make a relationship work, it takes a commitment from all parties involved. Twenty years ago you kissed four guys and he's divorcing you. Hmm, that seems extreme. Maybe your friend has the hots for your husband and decided it was a good way to get him. Or your husband was looking for a way out. He is horrible because in all this it's the kids that are being hurt. He's letting the kids take sides and that's wrong no matter who is at fault for the marriage dissolving. But 20 years ago, that's not even relevant to who you are today. If everything you are saying is correct I believe these two have been having an affair and concocted these memories to leave you. I'm sorry op. Sounds like he and Julia are seeing each other, and probably have been for a while now. Looks like a plot between the two of them to cut you out. I'm so sorry you are going through this. Kissing four dudes 20 years ago shouldn't matter now. I have some doubt, you just kissed other mans, and your best friend told that or you cheating physically. Important doubt is your best friend and your husband having affairs so both are wanting reason to eliminate you from her life. Overall this is well planned, he is cheating and waiting for right time to divorce you. Main important is she is turned against your two children. God see them definitely God never forgive her. Please hired pie because that person gather more evidence of your husband affairs details. Please clarify these doubts.